<laughs> a front flip. I thought I was getting a rope swing. Here we go for a front flip. Think about your future. This is the future. Yeah, man, we want that unsupported record. Right? As much as you do. <laughs> oh man, I think I got a maid right here. I got a maid right here. There's like a whole indent for butts. Just for butts. Wonder what this is or what? Yeah! Go as far as you can go. July 9th and uh, just uh, heading out of camp me and Crash went and found some uh, dispersed camping tried to get in uh, like I said yesterday about as close as we could to Port Clinton and um, we got about we're about six miles south we probably could have pushed a little bit farther and found something uh, even closer but you know, I was coming through and I got up <laughs> and all of a sudden this like climb came out of nowhere and uh, I was actually uh, kind of starting to have a little sugar crash from eating like half a jar of Nutella. I was just like, and then doing the climb and I was sweating my butt off and I just got to the top and I was a little winded and I was like, to hell with this, this is my new home. <laughs> uh, I, I sat there and waited for crash to get there to see if, because... Uh, you know, I'm like a, I'm pretty flexible with my hammock, but with this tent, you know, he needs a better, a more uh, specific kind of space. So I, uh, I waited for him to see if this, if the site was good enough for his tent. But this morning, I'm up and about it. A um, couple hours later than I expected, just because of the rain that came in, and. Um, now I'm headed into Port Clinton, got about six miles like I said, and hoping that maybe um, these six miles won't be super duper rocky, or only mildly rocky right now, and uh, though I hear that uh, the drop into Port Clinton can be a little hair raising because it's like straight down stone steps, and uh, in wet conditions it makes me a little nervous but you know I'm not gonna cry about it I won't I won't I won't have been the only person <laughs> to have done it <laughs> so uh, I know it can happen and I'll just have to be careful if, if it takes me a little bit longer no big deal um, I already texted Erica to give her a, an idea and I texted her a much longer time than I expected uh, like if I go really slow, this will be the time. <laughs> uh, it's a window so I can text her when I get there. But, uh, I'm excited. I'm excited to see her. And, um, yeah, it's going to be a good day, man. I got a feeling. But, uh, for now, I am going to 
put you guys away um, and try and focus here. It's not rocky yet, but and these PA trails, man, like once you get into the rocks, it's like it's not consistent. It's not like you're just in the rocks, you know. But when you are, <laughs> it's it can be a lot of work, and you don't necessarily know exactly when it's going to happen, obviously, because unless you've hiked the trail before. So, you know, so, so you're just kind of watching for it because it'll just be all of a sudden, boom, rocks under your feet, and if you're not paying attention, you'll kick a big old rock or step on a sharp spot, and your foot hurts for like half a mile, and, and those build up. <laughs> And then, if you're really not paying attention, by the end of the day, you could be in a world of pain. You're going to be anyways, but it could be a whole lot, heck of a lot worse. Um, Alright, enough said about rocks. I'm going to get to it. Later, y'all. Canyon Spring. No water. It's the story of PA this time of year. Fortunately, I don't need it right now. Down here at the Shoikil. I don't know how to say that. Shoikil River Trail just came down off of this up here, which doesn't look too bad until you actually see the trail, which is pretty much just like boom, straight down, Jacob's Ladder style, in reverse. Uh, de stressifying, man, for anybody that's doing this in the future. That climb down in the, the descent into Port Clinton, that's serious business. But we're here, so I'm gonna try and get in touch with my, with my friend Erica, and we're gonna see about taking care of some business and not doing descents like that for the rest of the day. <laughs> all right. We got a sign that says, do not litter. But look at all this, look at all this trash. 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 Trash over there. Trash everywhere. Savages in this town, man. It's disgusting. They need to learn better. Come on, y'all. Well, we made it out of town. We got everything we needed. And now we're getting rained on. We're about 0.3 from the shelter. And I had to stop. We missed uh, the bulk of the rain for the entire day. Felt pretty good about that. It was a good run. But now I'm getting that shower I probably need. Ooh. Walking down this road. It'll be right up here around the corner somewhere. Cook your clothes over it. It's not going to dry. Yeah, well, everybody was, they had a fire going, and everybody, like, dried their shit in the fire. And, uh, and there was, like, no room for anything I had, so I was just like, well, this is my only shot. Yeah, you <laughs> So I just tried, I just climbed in my bag, man. It, it worked. Yeah, it, it, it's What's that? You got I guess. It's your last night on trail, I'll do something like for you. Is that be another question, guys? It's, uh, July 10th, and... I am out here sharing this lovely view with Moose at Pulpit Rock, which is actually pretty amazing. <laughs> oh yeah. Looks like it's going to be a beautiful day. Might actually dry out. <laughs> so yeah, yesterday I uh, got about three tenths from the shelter and got rained on and everything was wet and then it stopped right after we got there so I went ahead and slept in my wet stuff since I still got my 20 bag and ha everything got half dried out so that was kind of cool 
But uh, today, um, shooting for 20. Uh, crash is not feeling good. His head's hurting again, so he was sleeping in. Let's see, he said he's going to catch up and let me know what's happening. Somewhere behind me is an astronomical park. I'm going to go and look at that and see what, see what that means. Because I'm not really sure. <laughs> and then I'll probably come back out here and check this view out again. Because it's pretty amazing. But it promises to be a nice day. So maybe I'll get another no-fly hammock night. Here, drink it one more time. It's smooth. Oh, yeah. All right, and I'll show you guys the park in a second. Yeah. Astronomical park. It's pretty rad. I got two telescopes over here. It's pretty awesome. Looks like they got some study buildings over there. Probably something, they probably got one in there and they just moved that roof open. And then they got another one over here. What does this say? Property of Lehigh Valley Amateur Astronomical Society. Yeah, they got a cool setup, man. This would be awesome if you were coming through here whenever it was going to be open. It'd be really great to, uh, Get a chance to come in here and look at some planets, some galaxies and stuff, man. Got to do that in uh, in Oregon, out in uh, out in the desert. I think it's called Green Mountain Observatory. They had like an open night, and you could look through the big scope, and then like a bunch of amateur scopes were set up. People were telling you about it, and they were pointing out constellations with a green laser and everything. And it was awesome. I'd totally get down on it if they were doing that here. This would be a great place. There, there you go. There you have it. Astronomical Park. We got the uh, privy right there. I'm going to take that for a spin. And then probably get on down the trail. Get them miles in. I'm ready, man. It's such a gorgeous day. Perfect temperatures. A little bit of a breeze. Don't get no better than that. All right, got time to lighten my load. The Hamburg Municipal Authority. <laughs> uh, oh, that cracks me up.